Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick farming video, but first I want to tell you about a special event that is happening this Friday. This Friday, October 10th, is going to be Base Build Day, and that means I want all my fans out there to share with me their original, made by them, farming base, hybrid base, or pushing base. I want you to share it with me through Twitter, hashtag it with base for beak just base the number four and then B-E-A-K and I will pick the top three that I like any town hall doesn't matter probably I'll pick a town hall eight a town hall nine and a town hall ten and I will pick the designs I like the best that I haven't seen before and then we'll make a video showing why they're good and uh, we'll talk a little bit about good base design I think that'll be great I want to interact with you guys I want to see what kind of bases you make and I want to encourage you to make your own bases that's very important in clash you'll see here I'm kind of messing around with a, a weird army that I used at Town Hall 9 a little bit hogs and barbs and archers I had about 15 hogs and the rest barbs and archers it's a really cool army when you're up against weak bases I've been meaning to try it <laughs> in Master League, uh, I at first I didn't think it was gonna work, but today I'm like, hey, I might as well try it. Um, I got nothing to lose, you know. I'm kind of like farming down right now. I need to get lower in cups, so uh, you know it's worth messing around. So here <clears throat> we've got a a base where the storages are like two buildings in. So you know normally I wouldn't barge this base. Uh, my heroes can get in there, but. Um, they're in two separate locations here, so I'd have to split my heroes up. Not something I like to do. But I think with a combination of spells and some hogs, we can get these storages at the bottom and then rush the top with the heroes. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've used hog barch in a long time. I used to be pretty good with it, but that was in Gold League against Town Hall 8s and Preemie, you know, Town Hall 9s, Rush Town Hall 10s. It's easy. Uh, against easy bases I'm thinking this will be a little tougher with the higher level defenses and inferno towers especially so I don't have any wall breakers so I don't have to wait for my troops to get through these walls kind of a pain but thankfully this is low level walls for master league level 7 it's actually pretty standard but a lot of times you see bases with level 9 and above Archer Queen is centered and she's gonna be a pain here so I'm gonna just spam troops Throw a rage spell down so hopefully they can beat this mortar. Ooh, they are getting beat by the mortar. But they did get inside and they're approaching that gold storage. Here's where the hogs are going to come in handy. I should have done this slightly earlier. But I can rush hogs in there, take out that mortar, and then my troops are okay. However, they'd already gotten the gold storage, so it was a little late. But that's the theory of what I'm trying to do. Take out defenses, especially splash defenses. So my barch can just run in there and get what it needs to get. Point defenses, not too overwhelming against barch. But splash defenses, they are crazy. Especially max mortars, max wizard towers. Uh, I'd say max mortars are the worst because they have that crazy range. And also, uh, another thing devastating to both hogs and barch is those big bombs. Ugh. They tend to be outside a lot. Uh, people just haphazardly throw them around their base. And that's annoying to Barch. It's not a good design, really. You should have your bombs inside your base. But against Barch, you're going to wreck me. Because I'm spamming a bunch of tiny troops around your base. And they're going to hit these bombs. So, you know. Maybe it's not so bad after all. You see there, I, I didn't bother getting 50%. Because I do need to go down in cups a little bit. Here's an interesting base that I could probably take with uh, just Barch anyway, but we're going to see how the Hogs can help me here. I haven't really been thinking about getting 50% with this army right now, but I think it will help. The only problem is uh, the Hogs are going to take up a lot of space, so they're going to take up... Jeez, I mean, if I have 10, that's 50 spaces, but I got more like 14 or 15, so that's like 70 to 80 spaces. That's camp, that's spaces in my camps that I can't use for barbs and archers, so I'm going to have to adjust to that. I mean, that's like an obvious statement, but um, I'm just used to having so many infantry troops, so many barbs and archers that I don't even think about running low on them. 
when you got a whole bunch of hogs, you know, you got to conserve your archers a little more. It's like with Bam, it's the same thing. If you're used to Barch, and all of a sudden you throw in 30 minions, you might run out of archers early and uh, realize it once it's too late. And that's okay because you can use minions as, you know, you can substitute them. But hogs, you can't because they only target defenses. So, uh, gonna, gonna raid a little differently, but it's fun. The hogs kind of go in first. Uh, actually, first I tend to drop a couple barbs to distract the nearby defenses. Then throw a couple hogs. Depending on if I want to just take out one defense, sometimes two to three hogs is enough. If I want the hogs to take out several defenses, I'm going to need five or more hogs. I started playing around with heal spells, but I've kind of th I'm kind of thinking that this way of just dropping a few hogs isn't good with heal spells because, well, five hogs in a heal spell, they're still going to get shot down by high level defenses such as this. They, they can't even get healed fast enough, so heal spells probably not going to get used much. When I was a Town Hall 9 and I used Hog Barch, I would put all my hogs down at once, say 15 to 20 hogs, and I'd use one heal spell on those. And that worked great. You know, having a pack of hogs in a heal spell is good. You're going to keep their health up, and as a pack, they will overwhelm defenses. But, you know, in groups of four or five, not so much. So I'm kind of thinking this is going to be like balloon sniping, but uh, a little more reckless and not quite as precise as a balloon minion army is but that's okay um, I think the difference is going to be uh, hogs are pretty vulnerable and they can get shot by ground and air defenses so it's going to really matter what level the defenses are but uh, I'll see what it can do you know I've used this before uh, I haven't used it at high leagues but I have plenty of dark elixir to burn I can afford to you know mess around with it and if it's profitable I'll use it a lot of you guys that don't have maxed heroes, it's not really a great time for you to use hogs while farming. I'm sure you can understand that. It might be fun to play around with it a couple times, but really the best army for uh, somebody that can't spend a lot of Dark Elixir is Barb, Archers, and Minions. Bam. You can raid uh, up to you know four times an hour with that. that. That's awesome. That's how you get a million or more gold an hour is with a quick army like BAM. So I would encourage you to use something like that rather than an expensive one like this. If you want to see something like this, you can always come check it out here because I can do whatever weird armies you guys want. If you ever want to see something, you know, different or uh, want me to try out an army that you've seen or thought about, just let me know in the comments. I always read every comment and uh, I'll make a note of every comment and I plan to do everything you guys ask. <laughs> be it weird or not so guys remember this friday go on twitter tag make a picture and tag it um what i say base for beak base that with the number four and then beak i'll write it down in the comments below and you're going to put your base your original base design there i'm going to pick the three that i like the most and we're going to make a video about them i'm going to talk about why they're good designs what could be improved on them? What's good about them? And then we're going to just talk general good base design. It's going to be a lot of fun. I want to get uh, as much interaction from you guys as possible because you guys are awesome. You guys are what makes this a channel. And, uh, you know, we are a community in Clash. That's the best part of Clash is getting to hang out with people, meet people, and see people from all over the world. That's why I love it. So that's it for today, guys. Just a quick video. I will see you tomorrow. I will be battling Vinny in the Clash Farming Challenge. See you then, guys. Peace.